Hello, I'm David Alkine, and this is Janet Murphy, whose classroom we'll be using today. We'll be doing interviews with children to demonstrate some of the changes in children's thinking that Piaget described as concrete operations. These two processes that Piaget called transitivity and reversibility are major achievements of the concrete operational period. In turn, they make possible the construction of two equally important conceptions, namely those of rules and those of units. In this film, we are going to present children with a variety of tasks that require them to make judgments on the basis of either reason or perception. When children make their judgments on the basis of transitivity or reversibility, they give evidence that their sense of logic takes precedence over their perceptual impressions. They demonstrate, therefore, that they are using concrete operations. Transitivity involves holding two relationships in mind at the same time. We can illustrate the development of transitivity by presenting children with Piaget's seriation task. Four-year-old pre-operational Jeffrey has difficulty with this task. He is unable to order three sticks according to their length, even with a model to copy. He simply does not understand the relationships that are involved. Some critics argue that young children's failure to solve such problems is a matter of misunderstanding the language involved. They say that young children simply do not understand the terms next largest, smallest, etc. Piaget's answer is that young children do not understand the quantity terms in the adult sense because they do not as yet have the underlying concepts of transitivity and reversibility that enable us to comprehend and utilize mathematical terminology. When a child attains a unit concept in a particular domain, that's no guarantee that he or she will automatically have attained the unit concept in other content areas. Indeed, Piaget argues that each content area has to be constructed in its own time and in its own way. We can observe this as children attempt to conceptualize mass, weight, and volume with clay. So when they're in the two balls, they have the same amount. But if I roll this one back into a hot dog, then tell me one more time. Which one? Does one have more or less, or are they the same amount of clay now? Same. They're the same now? Mm-hmm. Okay, last time we did this, you said that this one had more. You're changing your mind? Yeah. Do they take up the same amount of space, or does one of them take up more, or one take up less? This one takes up more. This one takes up more? Mm-hmm. Okay, and why do you think that? Because it's stretched out, and it doesn't have as much room as, as a ball. Oh, okay. So it seems to take up more space. She eventually succeeds in conserving mass, but gives in to her perceptual intuition that the sausage takes up more space than the ball. The work of Jean Piaget has opened up many new areas for discussion and for investigation. His description of the stages of logical thinking and the unit concept have many implications for education and for the helping professions. We hope that this film and others in the series will encourage you to incorporate some of these insights into your own work with children.